semifinals? Good question. I do not know. I think we're going to be, uh, we're mostly right now waiting for uh, the other matches to finish. I don't think all the yeah, matches so are finished right now. I think we're, um, I think we're moving on. Like if you look at the, the roster thing, we're going to go to game six. But I'm, I also got to wait for it to be properly displayed. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, let me, let me just ask Ranger. Hola, señoritas. Muy bien. Okay.
I will do the same uh, then. Not what I was expecting there, but oh well, say la vie. Say la vie, my friend. Doing but my yeah. best here. That's all we can ask for, man. <laughs> That's all we can ask for at this point. <laughs> Sorry. Everything should be calibrated, hoping at least. If, if not, I mean, I, again, it's it's just a lot to wrap my head around. There's so much. And then I'm told, okay, there were these two other changes last second. I'm trying my best, but it's like, ah. Uh. Yeah. It, 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 like I said, we are not... Uh, I mean, shit. Oh, I'm. I'm. I, I haven't been perfect, so don't don't think there's any uh, yeah. expectations for perfection. <laughs> it's all good. I just I just find this all funny anyway. Oh, for so. sure, for sure. Because we, you know, we're professionals, so for something to be. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't call myself a professional. Rather, I just do my best to try to well, make all this. Really, work I would. No, nothing. Oh, okay. Ah oh, man. All right, uh, we are pushing to the map screen, so I will go ahead and yep. transition myself over to that. Oh, maybe. Oh. There we go. That was weird. All right. I am now in. We have this time we have tactical t training team two on blue four and 16th AA, the winners of the last round, uh, in, on red four. I keep on wanting to hit alt so because in FNF, alt is the one that makes your camera go real slow. In vanilla, uh, it's there's nothing your camera just goes slow by default <laughs> it's so hard to get used to all right and they are starting to pick their weapons seeing a good mix of actually all, almost all SPARs coming out from uh, 16th AA so they seem to be liking that 556 and on blue 4 for TTT we're seeing uh, if I can get an eyes on them Looks like a mix of 6.5, 5.6, and we're seeing Spooky there pick up uh, a PS90 as well as uh, that RPG-42. All right, round has begun. I was able to fix all the technical issues. Awesome. awesome. Okay, I think we're good. I think all we're right. good. All uh, right, round has just started, and this is Chipoy. It's actually, it's this is definitely a, a bigger map, but um, the choke points are, in my opinion, a bit tougher on this mm -hmm. map just because of the, uh, the layout of the city of Chipoy here. And especially so the flag capture Malden areas. Town, this is town, actually. Yes, so. it is. It is uh, on Malden. Malden 2035 between La Riviera and La Poor. Wolfenstein getting first blood on McPherson. You know, actually, I recognize that. Back in, uh, when I covered this in 2019, this was one of the maps they actually utilized. So it's it's a bit of an old familiarity here. But anyway, we have 16 AA, the winners of the previous round we cover, fighting TTT2, which is the second team of TTT, because the uh, first team, uh, team of TTT, which are German players, are a professional uh, Arma group, and I will have to look into more of that later because, again, we got to get to that uh, that level of professionalism Barb and I were joking about <laughs> earlier. So. Yeah. So, early uh, pressure from TTT2. Uh, mm -hmm. Oxido, I think, might have grenaded themselves there, but um, yeah, they're uh, TTT2 trying for some quick pressure. Daniel almost getting McPherson there as he retreats into cover. Great grenade throw, but again, we saw. Ben on the main defensive posture here for 16 AA. Oh, uh, great shot from Keeling. Uh, was that over at uh, Flanagan, over at uh, Blue Four's defensive area? Yeah, it's on Hog, wasn't it? Uh, no, um, uh, Keeling onto uh, onto Spooky, the uh, uh, Red Force gotcha. flag. Sorry. Gotcha. Yeah, and a so lot of side, pressure I mean, onto Red Force. Forces. I mean, this was the first two minutes of the match, and they're already right on top of each other's flags. And you're seeing just. So many shots here. Uh, right off the bat, though, both sides are being incredibly aggressive. It looks like for Blue 4, we have the cheese for TTT2 playing defense. Uh, ben is going to be playing defense as well, but you have Duke as mm -hmm. well. El Basto for TTT was just able to take out McPherson. And I don't know. I mean, if 
16 AA is going to have everyone but four guys on offense, but TTT is going to have everyone but five guys on offense, even though we just saw Spocky. Um, I think that's meant to be Spocky, not Spooky, because there's not two O's. Um, oh, shit. He just got yeah, killed you're by right. Daniel. Uh, yeah, better friendly fire there. This play there. Yep. Ah, the friendly fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah even on, amongst the professionals, there is still friendly fire. First but touch Bezo's there from El Basto. The touch. He's starting Basto, to move Bezo. away. He's rocking a P90 with a long barrel. Yes, that is the PS90. Uh, so Ooh. nice little uh, uh, SMG there. Should be very Hawk effective. Wolfenstein there. So we still have Hog and Keeling by the flag. Could be on defense here. But if Hog is able to... T oh, wait. Hog is dead. Nope. Hog's no. alive. Keeling is dead. Hog is still alive. Yes. So Hog is pushing up. if Hog's able to take up. the flag and run with it, then Blue 4 won't be able to capture. Oh, Hog. Hog. Gets his out of position. But again, that P90, man. Yeah, Hog. I think, uh, yeah, he's got a wild magnification on that. And uh, Basto isn't going to be able to run back to spawn this is and get back. amazing because we just witnessed 16 AA dominate in the previous round. It got a little shaky in the first round, but they would get a point in last second. Uh, Within the first three minutes, lose one, and Daniel's now getting mm -hmm. a second one. This is the train. This is the train that I've seen happen uh, rarely, but when it happens, mm -hmm. it is devastating and, and very tough to get uh, back to cut off, But he pulls back instead. They're looking for the flag. Daniel being very quick to be defensive here. El Basto's going to be out here to cover. You got Ben running around on the side, but already possibly two points up. Look how Daniel now crossing smart back. they're planning. Basso's uh, providing the, the protection for Daniel. Now he's running through the square as Keeling, Hogg, and McPherson run along that western flank. And they're going to meet each other here on the MSR, I think. Keeling might spot Daniel. He sees that flag. He has to. He has way. to. Daniel's going to be able to get another point here. And yep. already TTT is up two points. And Basso's going to be looking for a third touch here. He's going to see Ben here. He's going to meet him real quick. But even then, Basto gets the spray. Basto stops him and gets another one. That P90, man. Basto's and that's, six and that's one touch right three, now. and it's about to be score three, I believe, because Basto has a clear path ahead of him. This freaking train. I've never seen a round of ESM go this way. I covered one three years ago uh, for, I think, one day of the tourney. And this is day one. I'm going to be covering game tomorrow, unfortunately. But. How crazy to see 16 AA. Like a, doing... a solid struggle. Keeling gets a touch yeah. there. Yeah, but he is immediately gunned down. At least he gets that touch on the board. But now you got the third capture in. Yeah. That is just insane. Daniel taking out Ben. They're about to get the flag again. The train keeps going. The train is not stopping. Onboard that... just doesn't be able to seem to counter this. It's just that they're... they're... I mean, they're doing what they need to do. They're trying to stop that flag from being captured, but in doing so, they're leaving themselves open, open net with, you know, no goalie kind of situation. And that is, yeah, leading to this kind of train. Get, Combined with some Hog great CQC, TTT just, yeah, bullying McPherson them. McPherson might be at an angle to cut off Daniel. He doesn't turn the corner in time. The truck's in the way. Daniel's going to get the touch. And, that and is El Basto getting Basel. number five. Right there, the train. The continues. train. This is just domination. And it's only been five minutes, maybe six. We just got through the sixth minute. There's still 24 to go. And you got DeCheese on defense here. As Off were desperately trying to get a train of their own, but DeCheese is able to hold. It's just constantly. And, and yeah, them. that's going to be it. Bass is going to make it, and that is going to be the train. And a city, but a train of five captures. back to back to back to back to that back. Holy mark, shit! The game's over. It goes to five. It goes to five. That over. that that's round one. The 16th, game's over. 16 day eight. The, the, there is a second half still. There is a second <laughs> half. 16 day eight can still if they can. I mean, no, seriously. If 16 day eight can run over. the train, but the game's over. And Spocky with the GG, not even GH, just GG. Look at that, El Basto with a seven to one. What? Jesus with a four and zero. My, my delay is only like starting on the train right now because that was just a five minute train. Oh my God. And <laughs> Nicholas, damn, okay. What?
<laughs> That's just it's the power of the German Blitzkrieg. Literally, like, oh, I need to keep my voice down. Fuck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, well, now we're switching sides. 16th AA gonna be on uh, blue for this time. We'll see if they can do what TTT was able to do. Holy Lord. Yeah, you're gonna wanna keep your voice right. down. Um, I'm gonna Bloodwing, have... Bloodwing is gonna open some jars, I think, and she's not gonna be I gotta, happy. I, I, I'm gonna go to studio mode and switch the sides now for round two, because holy shit! I can't believe that just happened! Alright, TTT's now gonna be on top four! <laughs> give me, give me one moment. Oh. Oh my god. It's still processing. Just, just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. It's something else, I'm telling you. And we're already back in on the map screen. All right, running my uh, hell. I'm, I'm, here. I yeah, might be able go. to switch over to to hideout ops. <laughs> oh man all right we're already in yep um looks like i have yep so ttt is gonna be on op four we have blue four okay i set it all up correctly this time except it's not registering the points from the previous round it i, I saw that it was but then it disappeared that's weird all right i don't know but either way ttt now on op four i'll just state for the record that ttt I don't focus. remember a round happening like that last time, too. Like, damn. Just, damn. Looking at the weapon start, Ossidio's going to get a double barrel shotgun. The rest oh, of them, they, are the they memeing? Are going for a yeah, they're they're totally meme. Hope we got a yellow Oh, the, th the shorty, too. The fucking sawn off, really? Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Another, another red chain. Oh, 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 let it pass. I think that's just all the scripts initializing. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, everyone temporarily oh. losing connection for a moment. Ooh, uh-oh. I mean, it's not like we're, we have an issue right now. <laughs> you like, want to know what's funny? One of my just... mods just started the prediction for the first round. For the first, yeah, the first and they okay. haven't even watched it yet. Oh, my God. That's the yeah, funniest so I the, thing. I think the server just had a heart attack realizing that the first round just went that freaking quick. Oh my god. Oh man, I mean we have a bit of a hold now. Don't get me wrong, but Oh no, I it's don't it's mind it. Okay, yeah, we're we're restarting because of that. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, do we just stay on the server or we have to reconnect? Uh, I think I'm good on. I'm still on the server. I don't know if there's All a right. need to reconnect. Did your red chain go away? My red chain went away. So if yours is okay, still there, you not, need to so reconnect. Yeah, yeah. transition, BRB. Always transitioning all the time. So just as. For some reason, my 16th AA logo just disappeared. It's still there. <laughs> like it's it's not like it, it like it, the OBS. It's like it, it can recognize the JPEG, but it's like it's just okay. Now now shit is just breaking. What is happening? My game just full on crash. Oh, that's funny. Fuck, what the hell is happening? Holy crap. Yeah, I'm still processing it too. And literally, the only thing on my yeah. overlay now that's working is TTT2. Like, the logos <laughs> are gone, the 16AA is just gone. I've never seen this happen. There. No, me neither.
Ah, right. yep, we're just in a hold right now. Uh, let me know when the server's back up. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, oh. I'm, at, I'm still on the server, so yeah, you're good. That's weird. My game can't seem to find it. It's still the game five server, right? They didn't change. Well, yeah, no, you're still. Yeah, on yeah, it. it's 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 still the yeah that that whatever server. All right, I'm gonna restart armor real quick then. Go for it. It's a quick boot because it's just vanilla. Um, That's great, isn't are it? Are they waiting on me? I do apologize if they're waiting on me. Uh, likely, but I don't know. Sure. Okay. Your shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. There we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to completely restart Arma here. Because it's not even launching the battle eye client, so it just made my battle eye completely crash too. Good Fucking God. awesome. What is happening today? They can start without me. I'll come in ASAP. At least I have everything on the backside set up, but my God. What is happening today, you know? I wonder right. what caused that. Fucking, what is happening here? And I'm being told the server is back up. All right. Uh, that appears to be uh, a, a damned lie. I want to I want to watch your chat and my chat as like the match is progressing now. Yep. So same server, just uh, send it back up. Yep. 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 All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. It, it like it, the OBS. It's like it, it can wreck. All right, I am back in. All right. Hey, guys. Hey. Um, have you guys been able to reconnect successfully? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes we are both back on the back server in. and ready and waiting. I had to restart my game because that crash completely killed my uh, yeah, battle had, um, too, so. Is issue on server side, uh, servers had to be restarted. Okay. And we've got the uh, techs uh, investigating that. Okay. Enjoy. See you. Right, thank you. So, Lyra, I hear that Bloodwing has to open all the jars in the house now? She, no. No, she doesn't. Okay, so... I was getting my ass trolled last night on day Z. Uh, an admin came over dressed up as a police, uh, police officer because I couldn't open a pickle jar. I didn't call him over and it just naturally progressed, but they were trolling me with all these sound snippets. So I couldn't tell what was going on. But no, I, I opened the Dare damn say pickle jars based. for Bloodwing, okay? Okay, I Is open that... the pickle jar. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so now sides have changed. TTT now on red four. 30 seconds yeah. on the clock as they pick their loadouts. All right, so it looks like uh, we're seeing that twin P90 play on Basto and Spocky again. Uh, two Spar 17s, two Kabaddi 6.5, CSAT uh, Carabines there. Blue 4 meanwhile, Carabines? we're seeing almost all Spar 16s and then Duke going for uh, Type 115. So uh, 5.6 is uh, seems to be um, popular now. There are, are talks of a quote-unquote meta. I mean, I've heard everything from when TMTM played it, they were concerned that the AK-12 was in the game because they're like, oh, you could just hit anyone with the AK-12 and they're going to die. But that wasn't the case. I've heard people say that the Katiba 6.5 is meta. Uh, as it's a good mix of power and recoil, but AG no. going out on the bat uh, by TTT doesn't hit anyone nope, though. No, no one. So yeah, there's 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 always talks of uh, of a meta, but there really doesn't seem to be one. I think just because of the very quick, very short uh, time to kill. So some quick maneuvers from TTT the middle by the church uh yeah 16th aa this time around being a lot more uh conservative with their play mm -hmm. i'd imagine so because they got stomped out their only hope of winning this round is to uh get all five and have it go to a tiebreaker yeah Asidio already getting the kill on hog and that's daniel now with a touch but yeah right no, off I... the bat first oh good shot yeah, but they, they kind of uh, led them in a little bit. McPherson did get friendly fired. Um, now it's just Ben on uh, defense there. But you should have some reinforcements soon as Spocky is moving up that western side. But yeah, no, um, 16th, they have to do this pretty much flawlessly. Even TTT now getting a touch really complicates things because if 16th AA gets perfect 5-5, five and five, they're still going to lose because yep. TTT2 is going to have... Um, the touches. Duke getting taken out yeah. by Spocky there. Flag gets reset. Spocky now. It looks like he might try and go for a bit of a uh, spawn camping play. Wouldn't be surprised. Again, Op4 is going incredibly aggressive. I saw last round Wolfenstein tried to dominate mid, and the remaining four TT players pushed the flag, and the cheese held the uh, actual flag location. It looks like they're trying that strategy again. They got Spocky and Asidio on the flag. Healing's gonna come around, have to fight the Cheese, and the Cheese is able to get the kill on Healing. Flanagan coming around as well, but uh, because of this middle map control, Wolfenstein is able to turn around and also cover the flag and play defense if he hears gunshots behind him. Uh, Spocky getting taken out by Ben. Asidio yep. staying on the second story. I think he's playing the uh, same way that uh, Spocky was playing, just looking for reinserts, reinforcements. Wolfenstein, again, that central map control, able to take out Flanagan and Asidio, uh, and I think Pearson yeah. just traded. Pearson? McPherson. And now chat's God open. Damn it's illiterate damn illiterate motherfucker. Jars, too. It's a five-minute delay, and now we have to talk about the damn jars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what it, what you yes, normally talk about jars about, you know? You know what Azurai has been doing to me for the past It's the 24-month resub thing, isn't it? Yeah, because Twitch just constantly lets him bring it up, and I'm like, why? I don't know, why? and it's Every not charging him in any day. extra either. That's the worst part, is you're no, not even taking his money. If he, at least if I got the money, then I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, but, but now it's like... Twitch is shafting me here. <laughs> oh, man, I thought it would be harder to shaft you. Shut up. <laughs> Damn, I thought we'd go the entire stream without a horny joke, but I guess I was wrong. You knew that wouldn't have happened. Asidio taking oh! out Hog and Daniel getting at healing there. Healing, healing there had the Mark 200 as well. And Flanagan, Flanagan has his back to Daniel. That's going to be a mistake. Oh, he Flanagan even gets the flick. Omeo Nani? <laughs> ben and another guy traded. That was El Besto. So you got McPherson and Duke now playing for defensive control. Here's Daniel. Daniel. Pushing Ooh. McPherson gets the kill. Duke now. Daniel, that's not. Reload. Yeah, Duke, that, that Duke spot. I'm surprised he's able to hold that. That's type 15, I think, Duke, saved him. Ooh, able, that grenade. Oh God, that that grenade. grenade. Perfect. Taking out Duke. Are you kidding me, Asidio? Right on top of the Are roof. Bounced over. Are you kidding me? Gets hot. Can he get Ben? Are you kidding me? 
No, he can't get Ben, but he does take out the boxes. That was brilliant. Flamingan uh, killing Keeling there in a bit of confusion, but I mean, looking at the scoreboard early on, like, damn. This is a very different game uh, as far as points, but scoreboard, yeah, TTT still just dominating the top half. EA definitely being more in the defensive here, and it's at least preventing the train from starting, but I mean, good God, TTT with some of these like expertly made grenade throws. McPherson running, Basto might catch him if he's not corner visioned right here. McPherson, does he turn around to see Basto? Yes, he does, and he takes him out, okay. So Barb, I don't think you care because you're not a DayZ player, but Frost got his new DayZ server up. It's going to be great. He added dinosaurs. So I'm gonna be and that's why I don't care about DayZ. Because it's like, oh wasn't God. it about zombies it at is, one point? But imagine going through the forest and then a random Velociraptor shows up. Have fun. <laughs> anyway, I saw a little lag spike on Daniel here. Uh, it said he was losing connection, but he is now back. Ooh, Hog, not even to get Spocky hog. there. Yeah, Spocky there with a great shot. McPherson now trying to control the center of the map. Actually able to kill Wolfenstein. <laughs> Spocky. Spocky has both the Mark 200 and the RPG-32, but he's going to get uh, dropped there by Keeling. Mm -hmm. Flanagan also taking out El Basto. We're starting to see 16 AA getting out over here. They might be in a position to start their own train as Op4 just had to respawn a lot of their guys. You saw four TTT guys get hit there. Yeah, but now they're going to be uh, here in a second. They're going to be in a good position if McPherson and Flanagan. Honestly, if they stay a little bit more passive and let the guys pass by them, they should be good. Wolfenstein here is going to come up into this building, though, and he's going to get a great shot in the back of Flanagan. Almost uh, is able to cover himself with a dumpster, dumpster but no dice. I just realized my point tallies for round two aren't working. They were working for round one, but now they're gone. Rip. Rest in peace. I'll have to ask about that afterwards, but eh, it's okay. No worries. This one uh, might not be as much of a short one, which is nice. We've actually, yeah, we've and, uh, at this point last game, it was over. Right, the round yeah, was, was done. Was a lightning round. But again, I'm seeing a lot of TCP guys getting hit here. Uh, we just need to see Blue Four get themselves in a position to start the train. but they're just not capitalized on the time. You got Asidio coming around, but you have Duke and Ben both playing defense in the back. I'm waiting for Hog here. He's holding Hoggy this coming uh, in, opens this the door. Spot. McPherson immediately guns him down. Shit. McPherson trying to run him, but he gets caught a little in the back and taken off by Wolfenstein, but Hog is able to then get the kill on Wolf there. Can he get Daniel? Yes, Wolf he can. Good double. Chezis is still back there though, hiding very, very sneakily. And he's able to get the flag, Hog. And Chessis is now on the pursuit. Hog actually Hog able to get away. It. Yep. Can't quite hit each other through the bushes. Risky but now he's got... I think also got the flag, but Duke was able Ooh. to return it after getting the kill. Oh, wow. Hog going into the bushes. I don't think I've seen anyone do oh, that, but, but he gets not. caught on the geometry and is unable to do it. Only for Kirin to take him out. Kirin might go around and actually get the flag there. Wolfenstein quickly running around. Ooh, Keeling, Keeling gets hit. Through. Gets the Drops reef free. Daniel comes around and nice. gets, uh, the drop on Keeling. Yeah, Keeling had Domino a great repeat Domino. there. Flanagan now camping up for spawn here, but Daniel's able to get the flag return. But that, oh, I, honestly, I think that just only plays to AA now because they need the touches. If they, like, obviously they need all the flag caps they can get, and at this rate, they're not going to get them, but they have to also be conscious of those flag touches. Because TTT though, will win on, on score and touches if there's a tie. a lot closer right now, though. 27 to 23 for total kills. That's true. To 29 total deaths. And look it's at where the, the placings for all of, uh, of um, 16th AA. They're all, now it's two through five are, uh, are blue for now. Daniel getting rebuffed as well on his approach. The one issue I have with this is if now we see 16 AA counter... 
and uh, is able to match TTT's aggression, but they go into a stalemate, it's still not going to be enough. It has to be a stomp out for 16A to have a chance this round. Yeah, it is. Asidio, I think, did McPherson just grenade himself? No, that was a different grenade. Okay. I was yeah. about to say, did he just bounce the grenade and hit four different things and land it back at his feet? That would have been hilarious. Would have been. Oh. Oxidio, or Oxid you're not, you're getting me saying it. Oxido, uh, going to be able to get the back shot it's there Oxido, onto right. yep. uh, McPherson. Oh, dude, you've got, you got like four people's names wrong. I haven't, I've, I've been holding myself get back. The damn names wrong. <laughs> I'm surprised I mean, you I'm haven't said Wolfenstein. Right, it's Wolfenstein. Yes, I know. I said I'm surprised you didn't say Wolfenstein. Killing gets the kill on CEO. <laughs> Good way to change the subject. And Wolf now trying to spray down and Killing as Killing bandages. Oh, and right in the, the shoulder. Kill. Friend of that, that oblique. It is infinite respawn, indeed. Yes. I believe the respawn timer is like 10 seconds or something, and then they but run then they all the way back from their, their, their back lines. Zone back into that. But we've seen that uh, it doesn't matter. It's if uh, the enemy team has a good train going, they can uh, lock you out. Daniel now moving through the bush. Might catch McPherson. I think he saw McPherson. He's going to hear his footsteps. Turns around. Nice. Plays him down. Lots of rap plays. Finding and taken out by Osidio there. Osidio immediately goes for the bandage because he is close by his back spawn. Uh, Daniel camping as Spocky and Elbesto quickly come around here. And there's a flag touch. Aw, gets it. But, but it gets to uh, to dropped immediately, control. yeah. But now we got three op four guys encircling. I think Daniel intentionally waited. Oh, and here's Spocky getting a quick double onto McPherson and Flanagan, who are on the way back oh, into the AO. And with is Duke still up? No, Duke Ben's is down. Still up. I think you just key hold base though there. Yep. Daniel pre fire in that corner. He's gonna go up there. I think it's gonna be up to Spocky to grab that flag. No, is Daniel gonna Oh, almost killing Spocky there. Whiffs those shots. Nice, because another one on Daniel. There. Does the notice? No, he's still looking up there. Spocky might go for the flag as well. I, I think they finally figured it out. And so Spocky's yeah. going to grab the flag because Aceto suppresses. Spocky's going to get the flag. Aceto's going to go offensive. Spocky gets gunned down in the back as Aceto quickly tries nice. to counter. But Blue Force able to... Great oh. work from Ben there. Just keeping oh, them man. occupied and buying right that time. And that, they were able to get all of the, uh, five of the other players up and back and stop that flag from leaving their courtyard. That was great. That was great a great, good, play good, good, good play. There. Yeah. Based though, uh, countering Keeling there. Real quick, Iceberg, thanks for the 36.3 set. I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Sorry, my voice acting hard. Based though, getting the second <laughs> kill on McPherson. Flanagan, I think, yeah, got Wolf up in the second story. The cheese is up there. Daniel trying to fire across. Isn't able to land a hit. Flanagan returning fire. Both of them, you hear those spar 16s going off. Based though, getting close to the spawn. I think he's going to wait it out for backup to come up. Asidio. Getting Flanagan, the CEO getting crippled himself, immediately goes to bandage. I notice if you are in a reload animation and you go to bandage at the same time, it starts the bandaging as you're in the reload animation, but it doesn't cancel each other out. So you're actually nope. able to have both of those go in at once. You can do that with TTT. Ace as well. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing TTT using that tactic a lot, mainly with Asid um, Asidio. So that's something interesting to note. But uh, Of course the know, Germans really are efficient with their time. <laughs> God damn it, Bart. <laughs> All going down by Daniel. Looking at the uh, kill count here again, from 36 to 40. It's very, very close. Both sides have been able to get some good touches here. We can see uh, behind the little panel, actual score right here, because this is uh, bugged out, unfortunately. But are, uh, is your score panel working? Which one? Any of them. <laughs> Do you mean the scoreboard or like both the in-game? Both of mine say 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, <laughs> no. My, one's working my, uh, <laughs> right now it's 0-2 uh, for AA and 0-3 for TTT2. Gotcha. And that's about to be, nope, still going to be 0-3 for TTT as Daniel drops his, uh, before he can get the flag. Oh, Baso, though, he's going to be able to win the firefight. Hog and Keeling are closing in on his position, but he might be able to get passed into these buildings. Yes, he is. And he's going to opt to clear out this one. This is where Ben was hiding. So now Basto getting surrounded here. I think this is going to be a little full 30 minutes. 
I think so, too. Uh, we just haven't been able to see either side capitalize on a train. I think the only thing we might see is... Oh, Op 4 now, ben. no about Ben spot in that corner. Ben just did he go up there He, he, he there. pre fired the pre -fired fuck it. out of that staircase. It was so it. dirty. I feel like Op 4 might get another Ooh, opportunity good to trade start a there. train. They're going to check Ben's spot first, realizing that that's what stopped them from getting the train last time. But... If they're able to capitalize on that, then maybe they'll get it. They got 15 minutes to do it. They only need four minutes to get a five-point train going, but... Ah, oh, man. Asidio staying by the flag zone. And Blue Fort is still trying to go for map control here, 16 AA. Just heard AT fire. Oh, did that... No, okay. I thought I saw no, a that almost took out McPherson, but just a little bit too far away. I think he might have been in cover. Off. I've also noticed Op4, they have multiple guys playing on defense right now. Uh, after they do a massive push, they spend a few minutes playing D to anticipate a counterattack from Blue4. And I think that strategy is really helping to lock down the fact that uh, Blue4 hasn't been able to get any touches or captures in those time spans. But another thing I've noticed is the only time either side has really been scoring is if the other side's actively trying to score as well, because that's pulling manpower on both sides. But I mean, you know, touch score two to three, which, you know, again, one touch up for TTT for this round, it it really shows just how close this is getting. And again, mm -hmm. the kill scoreboards as close as it has been, 46 to 47, TTT only one kill ahead. But again, because of that stomp out train in the first round, uh, it's really looking like uh, TTT is going to proceed here because they combine the point values of both rounds yep. to determine the winner. Asidio doesn't see Hog in the court. Wow. And he gets the wow. transfer onto Flanagan. Oh. TTT too, I'm telling you. They are just on top of things. I'm scared to see what TTT1 is capable of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Holy TTT2 shit. is so good, why isn't there a TTT3? Shut up. <laughs> At this rate, though, they might have one. I think they will be allowed to submit one team in, though. Uh, I remember I saw Falcon when we were watching the previous matches saying he wanted to get in on this. I'm going to be honest, Falcon. I think you'll meet your match here. No, yeah. Um, uh, Scandy actually played in this uh, in one of these, I believe. And, uh, yeah, they got... They they met their match. They they got really far for a, a newer group, but I would love to see Papega try this. Yes. Oh, and oh Oxido. My God, I think Papega has that right level of aggression, but a city again. They're falling for Ben's corner spot again. It is just a nasty little angle. There's no way to really to see him because it's one of those spots that's like if you come from the other side from the courtyards, you can't see him with um because of the shutter. You you can only see him from that very specific Thank angle. You gets off. Festo gets off the balcony after getting stuck on it. Cripples himself. He's killing and snipes him. And gets hogged on. too. And then he Ben still flag. drops him. No, Ben doesn't drop him in time. Ben gets him. But they still got the touch, but damn. Yeah, now that's four touches for TTT2. Twelve minutes remaining. I mean, this has been a really good round, in my opinion. Both sides showing a really good level of aggression, but again, this ties to what I was saying in the first match. Of, it's just usually it doesn't go to any captures. It's just all about the touches. But I love how we have the previous match, which is you know it was fairly balanced, but one side even. slowly got ahead of the yeah, other. This yeah, yeah. It was a stomp out, and then you have the closest game of the night for us. Like seriously. Like, I don't know if TTT2, if they're just like, yeah, we don't have to do too much because of, you know, their efforts in the first round, but they are still. I think a city still. just got tapped twice by, by McPherson, yeah. From where? Oh, from uh, the center of the map. He was uh, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. center and he caught him when he ran behind the uh, Very nice. truck there. Spocky again on that rear flank. Try sneaking those back lines. Ben now a little bit more concerned with the northern side of things. Uh, Duke though. Down. Nice job from Duke watching uh Covering watching Spock. over. It. Yep. Yeah, so now TTT just isn't able to get that attack, but now you see again it's Wolfenstein 
uh, is actually, I think, traded with the Chief. He said it. He said it. The motherfucker no, just said it. A building. So if he gets a notification, he's ready to open that door and spray them down. And I guess he'll just wait to hear footsteps. Maybe because TTT is noticing that uh, 16 AA are going around on the flanks, not really pushing down the middle because they previously uh, TTT showed really good map control. Wolfenstein, I think, just got healing. Yep. So even though he's in a spot to directly overwatch the flag, he's still completely covering it. And then Asidio, I think, just traded with McPherson there. But yeah, no, definitely you're seeing TTT just locking down defense a lot more this round because they were unable to secure the train, but they know as long as they hold through, uh, they're going to proceed on. Og with an ambush in the graveyard. He's going to try and open up. Gets base, though. Best, we... though. I... English. You also started saying Wolfenstein. And I wanted to because reach to my. I, I okay, no, you don't blame me for that, you motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to reach through that monitor and strangle you. Harder than anyway. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you bastard. All right. So Flanagan in a position to score, but again against TTT, just all of them individual have been so well. I get what Flanagan's trying to do, but no support. He could lock down up for spawn to allow for a train to start, but since just blue four is so out of position yeah. not really anywhere to support each other because in the previous round they were doing great line formations to basically envelop esp and slowly beat them over the course of two 30 minute matches but here they're just a lot less organized rocket and coming really out showing. and hitting chess's building uh but doesn't seem to be any visible damage Duke getting taken out by Spocky here, but again, no one is going up to check Ben's spot. Uh, you say that, but Daniel, on that. Daniel is right below him, literally the floor yeah, below, but, he's, but he's no one, yeah. Trying to touch it, he's gonna get shot again. McPherson yep. coming up, I think you noticed Daniel. Yep, gets nice. Daniel. Nice. And so that's gonna uh, Flanagan. He's actually he actually went for the flag, but I, th I think he got uh, Chessis actually took him down, surprisingly. But I think this is part of a weakness that I see. TTT2 suffering from is they're not adapting to take out Ben's spot. They keep making that mistake. They're relying purely on their brute force and their quick acquisition of targets. Uh, but I think a team that could adapt a bit more often might be able to beat out TTT. And we've seen AA do that by putting Ben on that one kill corner, but it's not enough because they're not able to beat uh, TTT's defense Ooh. there sorry there's, I saw Basto no you're good flanagan yeah basso got flanagan he was gonna go for the flag in, but i oh did ben pull back ben is looking north but... because mcpherson oh. was looking over the courtyard and basso Thankfully. can't do anything about that because of the, yeah, just the angle a little bit of wall in the way yep. just a little bit of wall in the door so he didn't have good eyes on it but we need to see ttt adapt to then hit that building and then move on pearson comes out gets taken out will keely come Bast around and yeah. try to hit basto Ben's setting up too now, watching over the flag. So I think that's uh, gonna be able to catch that. Duke in the corner, does Basto catch him? He does. That first shot, every time, it's Basto getting that first damn shot on someone. The duck. Oh, and... Gets, take, uh, gets the takedown. Ben, I think, put a few friendly uh, shots on playing. Yep, yep. Wasn't risking oh, it, and Ben, ben nated himself, himself? Up with his own grenade. Oh, this could be bad. Daniel, there, no, Daniel no just respawned, guys, Spocky just respawned. Though, yeah, so no one they're, here. They're fine. Oxido's the closest one, but uh, Blue was going to be able yeah, to re uh, Blue reinforce. Blue going to be able to redeploy in time. Yep, yep. Agreed. Count right now is previous round, TTT 1-5 zip. Uh, this round, because again, my scoreboard. Uh, it is currently 0-2 uh, to AA. Two to five zero. touches. Yes, correct. Uh, two touches, Blue 4, five touches, uh, Op 4. So TTT Lots of bad touch. Again. Oh, Op4 is adapt. See, this is what I was talking that about. That is a lot more like it. That building out. They got Duke with it too, but they need another rocket to just destroy that building outright so that little corner camp stops. I mean, honestly, even blowing that up and exposing that entire north side to the elements uh, could really uh, it's not a, that sour window it. Is still completely, uh, yeah, so the window still completely... Yes, the window still watches it, but know? I'm talking about from you look through that window where Ben sits and then you look to your left. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Now. Anyone from the street or those buildings or even probably like uh, the road or the hill up there where that warehouse yeah, is remember, it's, would have eyes on it. It takes about six minutes to run a five point train. So let's see <laughs> if Al Opfor can magically make the train happen because now Ben's spot is completely scuffed. 
Duke getting blown out of that uh, little building there. Man, I think he's realized that spot stuff, yep. so he's... Uh, so he, yeah, he's boxes. adjusted. He's adapted to the ad adaptation. Daniel gets keeling. Now you're starting to see a little bit of an op four battle line coming. Daniel and Lucidio trying to fight through McPherson. Uh, Spocky and Basto here in striking range for the flag. Daniel McPherson down. McPherson getting Daniel. Lucidio trying to find McPherson. He Isn't sees his head. Up? Basto comes and gets taken out by Ben. Nice. Uh, Lucidio gets him. Baki, I think, was taken out by Hog. Baki? Hog? Who? Yeah, Cidio, blue for it. I think, yeah, just dropped yeah, healing just, there. Yeah, just uh, uh, Oxido here. That's all it is now, for Red Four. Is Oxido going to now come around and try to camp blue for a spawn a bit as he waits for back? He's going to find a uh, Flanagan, but can't. Flanagan gets him. Yeah, can't, can't secure that kill. Well, he got Flanagan hit. He's bandaging right now, but. But you got to get, get the kill. Yeah. Yeah. It exactly. doesn't even take a headshot, honestly. Like most, uh, one tap to the chest is most of the time uh, all it's Center necessary mass. with no uh, with no armor on these guys. Basto spots Keeling, takes him out because nice. they're sprinting. Again, when you sprint, you shoulder your weapon. You're not able to pick it up as quickly. And if someone's already firing at you in this game mode, you're already dead. However, Basto, he's, he thinks that's the, the tail. And yeah, he's pushing back towards Flanagan and McPherson. McPherson goes down to Oxido, uh, who then gets traded out by Flanagan. Flanagan yep. So Flanagan. Oh, he's got to fight with the cheese and wolf there. And this they is what this is what here. I saw a lot of when Scandi Recon played was that they would yep. go as a group and then they would just get whittled down one by one and so there'd be maybe one or two people left of the of the strike team to hit the flag and with two or one or two people watching over it on defense, uh, it just wasn't enough uh, manpower to really uh, make something happen. Ben's trying to fire under the little wall thing Daniel's on. He's actually crippling his feet. Spocky looking to make a play. Ben gets Spocky. Yeah, he got Daniel and Spocky there because he was already lined up on that shot. Duke really exposed himself. Yeah, to I was going to say, look at this angle. Of how rough the flanks are. Uh, up, we're going for the extreme flanks of the entire AO. It's just not enough. Base, uh, Basto, I keep seeing him go up to that balcony. I think Blue Force starting to wise up to it because he just got killed on at that time. Again, I think 16 AA has a much better play of adaptability. I'm not seeing really any adaptations except for the defensive play of how they're treating this AO. Another RPG going into that building, but it's not going to be enough. No, they're going to need uh, one more. Daniel trying to kill Flanagan. Flanagan's going to come up to Wolf's building. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ben and said, this is my spot. This is my room. Oh, you don't go in here. Now he's back there. Good God. Uh, three minutes remaining. There's there's no time to do the train. I, no, I think this but, is a TTT victory. But I, yeah, I think so too. There just isn't enough time best. on the clock. But as I was saying, I think 16 AA, they definitely, definitely the more adaptive fighters, but overall skill is favoring TTT. Looking back at the scoreboard, uh, TTT were able to get another, like, you know, 12 kills ahead on the leaderboard, but this was definitely the closest match we saw. No captures, just down to touches. And I think if AA didn't show that adaptability, uh, it would be over, <laughs> let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It would have gone to another uh, cascade train like that. Pearson, he saw Wolfenstein up on the second story. But Wolfenstein has an MG, and he uh, immediately sprays McPherson down. Oxido gets keeling, but then instead of pushing in, he wraps, uh, falls back a little bit and wraps around a little bit more to the south. Cito gets hog as well. But tries to push this opening. Keeling is able to return the spray and yep, get Oxido. Ben just on the spot. He's by his spawn. Spocky yep. now dominating the position that Ben liked to go on. Ben switching Here comes position, Daniel. Though. Might catch Daniel out of position. Daniel gets Duke. Ben immediately kills Daniel. Spocky could come around. One minute remaining. Mm -hmm. And here comes Bastro as well. Or Basto, excuse me. Spocky and Basto on the sides now. Spocky jumping down. 
He's gonna try to go for it. Doesn't check his left again. That's like the third time spocky has gone down to that one spot. Again, DCT just not showing that ability to adapt and remember where they were taken down previously. Again, I think they're overthinking that 16A is changing their defensive position. Yeah. So and they're not they, checking where they're getting going. Yeah, go ahead. They're, they're, they're also just being really reckless in that they're charging in instead of trying to slice things or, you know, jiggle peak corners or anything that to my maybe just reveal where these spots are and then nade them out. Because uh, nades are really effective uh, with no, without I, armor. I think it just shows the level of aggression they're trying to go for. Another rocket going into that building. It's just not still not anymore. enough. But I, I think that just shows how they were able to get that train going. For example, you have to have that level of aggression. A city again, not checking that corner. He only looked a little to the right. However, got, I think that is off, gonna be it. it. Yep. And that's it. So it's gonna go to touches, which TTT had more of that round. So the yeah, final well, no, score is gonna be yeah. uh, the five spawns. Yes, respawns are enabled for this one, but go ahead. Sorry, you're trying to um, get So you're, you're not wrong, but because um, it, it, the, the that tiebreaker um, scoring would only come into uh, effect if the scores were uh, even across the board. So. TTT do win this, of course. Uh, they yep. win it with five touches to uh, 16th AA zero. Uh, 16 AA captures. will... Scores, captures, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, 16th AA will drop down to the loser's bracket and we'll have a chance at uh, playing for third place uh, with the rest of them. They get a, um, a buy uh, since they you know, went to the semis. So they will be facing off tomorrow, and I believe the first match. Uh, then we'll have the third place match, and finally we'll have the grand finals tomorrow. Uh, I want to say like 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern. But so, that is uh, going to be it for today. the matches for tomorrow, right? Because this yes. is going to be it for us today. All right. Yes, so, that is it for uh, us today. Feel free to jump on to Barbarian's channel for that if the, you find this interesting. Uh, I No, I personally do. Uh, I'd be covering it, but I already had a checkpoint RP set up for that. Yeah, so I'll yeah. be streaming that. But by all means, if you're here for PvP, go there. If you're here for... Uh, stuff, it, uh, if you're I here for roleplay, go to Liru. Is go, that go what I'm Liru. hearing? That's, that's what we're uh, dividing. Oh, wait, no. You're turning to something sexual. God damn it. I'm, right. just, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying if you're here <laughs> for the RP, you go to Liru. That's all I'm saying. Shut up. I'll be back <laughs> in a second. I'm going to wrap up my stream, okay? Same thing. Same thing. All right. Catch you later. All right, so yes, uh, obviously I am ahead of things, but thank you all very much for watching. I will be back at later tonight with TMTM. We have a mission in about five hours, so we will be back with that. Uh, but then after that, we will have um, a Zeus op tomorrow, the finale of this tomorrow, and then as well, uh, possibly some, some more TT, or TMTM uh, in the evening. But we will see. Until then, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you all later. Take care.